six is one in more than a thousand. You follow that? And uh, so it's very unusual for something to come out with that total. So look up there on the left. Latinos, that's the Greek word for Latin. L, lamba, alpha, ta, epsilon, iota, nu, omicron, and sigma. That's the Greek alphabet. It equals a total of 666, the word Latinos, Latin. Now, the Catholic Pope has on his, had on his little hat for a long time. They took it off because of this. And it's been used in other places in their documents. But vicarious filet dei, which is Latin for vicarious son of God. Major Catholic say. Uh, vicarious is a substitute for or in place of. Filet is son and dea is God. So in place of the Son of God is what the Pope has warned for years. Equital, substitution, correspondence, etc. What does all that say? It's saying that the word anti doesn't mean like just against, but it means in the place of. And here's what Strong's Greek lexicon says again. It's one of the prepositions whose use goes back to the Hellenistic period. That's Greek. It in its basic meaning of over against, over against, is mostly used in the sense of in place of. So this word anti. <clears throat> so I just seen a post the other day on Facebook, and the Catholic Church has just announced that Jesus is not coming that they've given up hope of him coming back again. He's probably doing other things. Um, I believe God has just showed me this video here. Um, I mean, this guy's talking about the Catholic Church and the Antichrist meaning in place of and how the, the Vatican is... Um, Basically saying it's not going to necessarily be a, um, anti-Christ, but he's going to try to represent Christ or be in place of Christ. And it just seems really odd. This is like one day apart from each other uh, that I'm seeing this video and the Catholic Church announced that Jesus is not coming. And yet they've been wearing in place of Christ on their head. Um for a long time, which represents the Antichrist. And most people say that the Antichrist is probably going to come out of the Roman Catholic Church. Um, I would get ready for the Antichrist to step up pretty soon because the Catholic Church just announced that Jesus is not coming. So somebody's going to try to step in this place here real soon. And it's most likely going to be the Catholic Church. I believe that them saying Jesus is not coming is 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 uh is them them going to be announcing the Antichrist pretty soon or the Antichrist coming up. Um, there's all this Mason stuff, Luciferian stuff, you know the you know. Devil stuff, basically, or the all C and I, and we're going into the year 2020. And right now, President Trump, Trump, like the Trump of God, Trump, President Trumpet, uh, is the president. Um, Trump is short for trumpet. In the Bible. Uh, also, um, this guy is talking about Latinos representing 666, and <clears throat> that's one thing that the Catholic Church also does, is uh, they speak in Latin, and um, they try to make Jesus the morning star in Latin um, mean the devil. In Isaiah 14, 12, son of the morning, they try to turn that into morning star in the Latin. Um, 
the Catholic Church is the only one that does that, as far as I know, with the Latin Vulgate and all that. Um, the Bible was written in Hebrew and Greek. It wasn't written in Latin. Um, and I'm sure there's a reason for that. But yet the Catholic Church um, does that Luciferian stuff again and tries to put the devil in place of Christ and are wearing in place of Christ on their head. Um, and they, the Pope already takes on, uh, uh, they call it the infallibility of the Pope saying he's without sin, which is a total, total lie. So I'm going to go on with this video now. is not only found in English, it's found in multiple European, Indo-European languages. It goes back through the Gothic, through the Latin, through the Greek, back into before Christ. That word's been around, translated through many languages. So the Antichrist is not a godless person. The Antichrist is one who comes as Christ. Now, he's against Christ in the sense that he takes the place of Christ. But he's for the concept of Christ because he wants to be the Christ. You understand? Antichrist is a usurper Christ. He comes in the place of, the definition in Greek, in the room of, offers himself instead of, he sets himself over against Christ. He denies the authenticity of the original Christ and tries to take his place. So let me say this to you. The Antichrist movement is a Christian movement. The great apostasy and the great evil that will come on the world in the last days will be at the hands of the Christian church. Now we wonder why all of the uh, academics freak out over the possibility of Christians getting in office. There's two reasons for that. One of them, the main reason, they love darkness rather than light. I won't go into that. But there's another reason. It's because they have read history. And they know that historically, the most wicked and godless and immoral, devastating to the peace of people have been the religious people and especially Christians. Christians have stood against liberty and the rights, human rights and human dignity of man. Just go back into what they call the dark ages. It was dark for a reason. It's because the church, the Christian church, made up of Roman Catholicism, Greek Orthodox, Eastern Orthodox, Western Eastern churches, all combined, turned the light of God out and usurped the Christ set up their popery and their presbytery taking the place of Christ and became antichrist and the world is afraid of a christian with political power and they ought to be because 99 out of 100 christians don't have the spirit of god and are not walking in truth and they won't be generous and kind and forgiving and merciful if they get in power if they get in power, they'll force you to be good and they'll kill you if you're not. And the last movement upon this earth, the most devastating, wicked, godless thing that'll ever happen is going to be a Christian movement. He's not called anti-Allah. He's not called substitute Buddha. He's called substitute Christ, anti-Christ. Two or three, a handful, to 1,500, 2,000, 3,000. I just right? fast forwarded so what's the chances to, uh, this part of the total now. of a name just being 666. Do you see that? It could be 665 or 669 or 720 or 832. So the, the chance of something coming out 666 is one in more than a thousand. You follow that? And uh, so it's very unusual for something to come out with that total. So look up there on the left, 
Latinos, that's the Greek word for Latin, L, Lamba, Alpha, Ta, Epsilon, Iota, Nu, Omicron, and Sigma. That's the Greek alphabet. It equals a total of 666, the word Latinos, Latin. Now, the Catholic Pope has on his, had on his little hat for a long time. They took it off because of this. And it's been used in other places in their documents. But vicarious filet dei, which is Latin for vicarious son of God. Major Catholic say. Uh, vicarious is a substitute for or in place of. Filet is son and dea is God. So in place of the Son of God is what the Pope has worn for years. Look at it. Vicarious has a total value of 112. You see the A and the R are not used in the numbers. And so it comes out to 112. Then Filet comes out to a total of 53. And Day comes out to a total of 501 which equals 666.